Olá, Deus te abençoe. Hello, God bless you. Thank God. Welcome to the Life Change Today program. Thank you so much for being there and may God bless you very much. Your home, your family, your Sunday. The week is just starting and may it be a wonderful week filled with joy, miracles, definitions, good news. If the first fruit is holy, the lamp is also holy. See God first. And all things will be given to you as well. Draw near to the Lord, and He will draw near to you. Look, and what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and the Jephthah, about David and Samuel and the prophets. Look, I don't have time to tell about them. Who through faith, through faith, through faith, conquered kingdoms, administered justice and gained what was promised, conquered kingdoms, administered justice by faith, through faith. They made it through faith and gained what was promised because of faith, who shut the mouths of lions because of faith, quenched the fury of the flames because of faith. Do you remember Daniel at the lion's cave? Do you remember the three young men in the, in the furnace? Do you remember David facing Goliath? Do you remember? Do you remember Jephthah? Facing their three enemies? So, I can also talk about many who, their names aren't here, but they are in the whole Bible. My God. And why did they make so many things? And they are in the scriptures because, because of faith. The faith in the Word of God. And did this God change? Were these people disappointed by believing, trusting in God? No, no. They gained what was promised. They conquered kingdoms. They made mighty things because of faith. And Nehemiah, it's here, Lord. 52 days purpose. We started today. The portal is open to everyone who believes. And God is calling you. And Nehemiah, who believed because it was something that no other people were able. Walls that were in the ground for 120 years. It was restored. And unbelievable, 52 days, people, less than 62 days, less than two months. That was changed. Doesn't it move you, impact to you? My dears, I'm making 52 days purpose for a whole life. And every year I see people arriving in the church who are there for decades. I have testimonies and more testimonies that I have already brought here about people who told after three, four testimonies about people who were 60 years telling, I'm leaving in the 52 days purpose what I've never lived, experienced in my whole life, what I've never experienced. I remember 
a lady. She was 62 years. And this lady, in 152 days' purpose, she was able to. During the 52 days' purpose, she, she got her retirement that I don't know. She said that she had been fighting for it for some issues. I don't remember the details. And she didn't get it. She didn't have a place to live. She used to fight cleaning houses and she wasn't able. She could barely sustain herself. Keep her, herself. So she used to live rent free in a small room, being humiliated by her older sister, who was already a widow. And this, the, the sister allowed her to live in the, in the back of the house. When it started to rain, it would rain inside the house. Mice used to enter the house. It was a, such a suffering, a sad situation. That woman said, for a whole life, for my whole, my entire life was like this. I didn't have anything to do. But it wasn't the 52 days purpose. You know, she made that mark on the ground and she said, no, I will fight for it. She said that it was a, a sentence that I spoke. That I said that nobody is too young or too old to start to live a different life. She said that that entered inside of her like this, and she decided to believe that there was there was hope for her. She used this expression. I decided to believe that there was hope for me yet. And throughout the fifty-two days. Purpose God made for her what she wasn't able to achieve for a whole life. She got her re retirement. One of the siblings who didn't even show up. It seems he didn't even go to the mother's funeral to show that it was God. He had some houses to rent. He was touched and one of the houses he gave to her. And that was a house. It was a small house, but was entirely furnished with custom-made furniture. And he gave the furniture to her, new furniture. There's no way to believe. She said that nobody believed in that. That this sister who allowed her to live in the back of the house, she used to humiliate her. She didn't give anything to her. She also used to hide food from food from her. She said that there were days that she used to arrive, that there wasn't. Usually she was able to, to take a little bit of the food that she cooked in the house that she cleaned during the day, in the work. Because if she would depend on that sister, she wouldn't have food. So she moved out of that place and she went to her house with her retirement. And she said that in the 52 days purpose, God gave a word to her about a gift that she had and for her to start to do it. And she said that she wasn't handling anymore to to clean the houses. And she remembered that when she was younger, she took a sewing, sewing and tailoring cars and that she had tried, but she wasn't successful. And she decided to resume that with, with small repairs, hemming, pet hemming, sewing on buttons to, to make small repairs. And she started to do it. And she said that that was impressive. In that same year, she finished it with her retirement, with her house, all furnished, everything organized. She gained new clothes, even in the church, you know, and she finished the year.
with the clientele. People were already going to going straight to her house and with her re retired man. And what she she gain with this work in her house? This woman who in the beginning she needed a food basket from the church, clothes, everything. Suddenly, this woman was already given to the to the church. And she said in her testimony that I believe it was Diego who took this testimony. She was never happy in her life. And in that in that year, that year, she she became such a happy person, different person. Her life was transformed. And testimonies like that of this lady, I can tell many to you many about people who one day they they decided people who decided to get up and just and they said enough I will believe that there is hope for me there is hope for you God wants to make in your life married Look, I don't have time. Just as the re the writer to the Hebrew spoke, marriage that were restored, barriers that were destroyed, unpayable debts. I remember some people who arrived at the church and they were owing owning nine hundred seventy thousand dollars and without any explanation. In the 52 days, when the purpose ended, that didn't exist, and exist anymore because they managed to negotiate and that debt dropped to a certain ma amount and they, and they even split it into installments and that man made a deal, a huge sale, and he paid that and during the 52 days. Real estate achievements, you know, changes in many areas. I can sit here for hours to tell people who stayed for decades, just like that was. But in 52 days, God raised the walls of their lives. God wants to raise the walls of your life. God wants to restore your life. God wants to do, but you need to believe and to go through the portal, to take your step of faith. Everything starts with a, with a step of faith. How many people who during a period, a time like this, they made a decision, no, I will stop what, what I'm doing and I'll seek people who made a decision. I have stories of people who managed to take vacations and came from another state to fulfill the purpose of the 50 days? Many people who made the 50 days purpose, their sabbatic time, they stopped what they were doing because they were tired about their results, their outcomes, and they decided, I want my life changed. Just like Nehemiah, they did just like Nehemiah. Nehemiah broke through with the life she used to have he used to have, everything he knew, and he decided to go to Jerusalem to restore the walls. And he made an unbelievable work, an incredible work. Everything starts with a step of faith, with the decision of faith. God didn't change. And I know that during this time of 52 days purpose, there is an anointing that makes us capable to live the impossible. And we are going to see the impossible just like we've never seen before. Impossible deeds. God will manifest himself. I know that God will manifest himself just like never before. And he's given you the opportunity to get out of where you are, to stop what you're doing, and to throw yourself into him with all your with all your strength. 
Just like this one, those one threw themselves and that's why they made such great things. Did it finish here? No, God is the same yesterday, today, and He will be forever. He remains manifesting Himself, answering those who believe. Happy are those who didn't see it, but they believed. Blessed are those who believe. Because if you believe, you see the glory of God. Every person who makes a decision to believe in what is written, know what they are seeing. If Nehemiah looked at, would he want to get out of where he was, a beautiful place? He was in the Susa fortress. He was serving the king. Would he want to break through with all of that to go to a destroyed place with people who were falling, an ugly place full of ruins, burned stones. But he understood that those walls were his destiny, the purpose of his life, and he went. And we know Nehemiah exactly because of the walls. That touched his heart. He understood that God had that called with him. That was for him. He was the chosen. And he traveled such a long distance. It was almost, it was around 994 miles, but there wasn't plane. But there was neither train nor airplane. And he went to that place and in 52 days, everything was restored. I love to talk about Nehemiah, his leadership, his story. People, I could read the, the book of Nehemiah. Look, for me, it is an un uncommon book. Read the book of Nehemiah. It is such a small book, but it changes your life. Your perspective. It is a story of faith, of courage, determination, sacrifice, renounce, surrender. And about the supernatural. How we see the supernatural. That's why God works so much restorations in the 52 days purpose. Because of the obvious. Because it talks about restoration, about the story of someone. It tells the story of someone who worked for restoration. And he lived it. So look, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered just, justice, and gained, gained what was promised, who shut the mountains of lions, quainted the fury of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength. Hallelujah. And who became powerful in battle and routed foreign armies. And routed foreign armies. Women received back their dead, raised to, raised to life again. What is that in your life? God wants to bring it back. Do you remember Lazarus? A, a damn man for four days and God and the Lord brought him back to life. What is that? Do you remember the Valley of Dry Bones that came back to life? It isn't because something is dead that God can't can bring it back to life. Because it is in the ground that He can't restore it. That everybody says that is the end that He can take it back to you. People, I tell you all the time about the restoration of the marriage of my parents that after almost, what, more than one decade separated, they were separated and the Lord restored, restored it. And I can see the fulfillment of the promises, what God promised to my mother. And I hear from people, it's not me, the only one who sees it. I see and I hear people who are around me see, saying that my father, another day someone said this for me. It was difficult to me to believe in the change of a person until the moment I saw what God did in Maurilio's life. 
Let us hold, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Hallelujah. For good news came to us just as to them. But the message they heard did not benefit them because they were not united by faith with those who listened. In other words, there is no use for you to listen to a powerful word and doesn't fix and doesn't unite it with faith, by faith. So the, the writer for the Hebrews, he says that people saw, do you remember? The original group who went, who left the Egypt, They heard the word, but they didn't unite it by faith. Many have already heard the word, but they didn't unite it by faith. And God is calling you to take the word and unite by faith. And to live the best time of your life and to finish this year like as the best year of your life so far. By far the best. Let's go. There is an open gate. There is an open portal. Today, we start the 52 days purpose, and God is talking to you. Unite by faith. The portal is open, and there is an anointing that leads us to live the impossible. And I believe in this because God has been saying to us, talking to us about this for a long time, and I believe with all my heart. Get up with faith. Because it's time to restore. It's time to you to live. What today is impossible, but God will make it possible if you believe. Unite by faith what the word that you have been listening to you. Believe. Make the decision to believe in the God who didn't who doesn't fail, who never failed, in the Almighty God, in the unfailable God, in this faith of God. If you believe in Him and honor Him, when you believe in Him, you honor the Lord. You, you please Him. The only way to please God is using the faith in what He said. Take His word and unite by faith. Believe and take your steps of faith and see His glory. If you believe, desire, and want to pray with me, prepare something you want to receive prayer for. I'll be right back to pray with you. Senhor, meu Deus e meu... Lord, my God and my Father, I pray for the dear life that is with me. And I ask, may this word have covered each person who is praying with me now, touched them, awakened them, raised them. Lord, may today people make this decision that will change the rest of their lives. The decision to seek you like never before, to draw near to you, to throw themselves into you, to embrace your word, to unite by faith, to act faith, to move by faith, because you want to do, you didn't change. All we have to do is to believe in what we're to believe in what we are receiving. The word is here. It's been delivered to us. It is our within our reach. We just need to believe and to move ourselves. It, we just have to believe. We just have to believe. Blessed are those who have not seen yet still believe. Blessed are those who believe. Lord, blessed are those who believe. If you believe, you'll see the glory of God. Everything is possible for those who believe. Nothing is impossible for you. What is impossible for man, it is possible for you. Nothing is too hard to you. And there is an anointing that makes us capable to live the impossible. We just have to believe and to move forward by faith to go through this portal. Amazing portal of opportunities. It's a time of a great opportunity. What an opportunity you're giving us. May they hold it. May they 
may they pick it, may they take it, bless homes, families, all who sent their, sent their prayer requests. I consecrate everything and I take possession. I agree with all victories, changes, the impossible being materialized in their lives. I bless my friends and fellow sowers. I prophesy the gift of wealth, prosperity, an anointing of conquest, an anointing of ten times more. Raise more sowers because we need them. And wherever this program is reaching, may this word have changed their perspective. May they have been filled with it and may they have already gotten up with this decision that they will take steps of faith and they will live the best time, a time of restoration, that they will live the impossible, that they will give conditions for you to materialize what is impossible in their lives. Thank you so much for everything. I ask for your blessing. I give my blessing. I praise for your goodness and faithfulness. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank God. The Life Helpline phone number is 5511-3296-9449. We're located at 995 Taquari Street in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's where we are today at 9. I will open the fest for the maintenance of my conquest project. We're going to celebrate the Lord's communion to consecrate the tithers and to start the 52 days purpose to restore the lives of everyone who believes. Get up and come. Count on us. It is a pleasure to serve. And if the Lord Jesus doesn't come back, I will continue here talking about life and life change. Have a nice day. Amen. Dia 7 de julho, às 9 horas, início do propósito de fé dos 52 dias para a restauração da sua vida com a Santa Ceia do Senhor. O muro ficou pronto em 52 dias. Quando todos os nossos inimigos souberam disso, todas as nações vizinhas ficaram atemorizadas e com orgulho ferido, pois perceberam que essa obra havia sido executada com a ajuda de nosso Deus. O que precisa ser restaurado em sua vida? A família? As finanças? A saúde? A vida espiritual? O Ministério Mudança de Vida dará a grande largada de fé pelo clamor da restauração da sua vida. 52 dias de fé, perseverança, de busca e clamor ao Deus vivo pela restauração da vida de todo aquele que crê. 